Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you the new Refine Atlas Fit feature of LeadDBS. And um, to do so, I started LeadDBS, I open a patient, so I just drag the folder up here and you will see it's being loaded or the, alternatively I can just, you know, click and select um, the patient and um, then the patient is loaded and now what I have done is um, I've already normalized the patient and co-registered the preoperative um, images and normalized it using advanced normalization tools. That's important because this new feature only works with ANTS. And I will show you in a second um, that in this patient we have a T1, that's our anchor modality, so the preoperative T1. Um, that we see as wireframes here. And here you can see that T2, a normal T2, it's actually not the best quality. T2 is co-registered to the T1. Um, that looks good, I've already done that. I click approve and next. And then we also have a T2 space. Um, that is a slightly different acquisition. Again, um, normal uh, co-registered to the T1. That's also looking good. And then we here we see the normalization. I just told you about and um, again we see the MNI space um, wireframes so that's the ICBM 2009B nonlinear asymmetric um, T1 here what we can see and um, the normalized patient T1 so the anchor modality is also shown. So you may know there's a detail viewer here where you can um, look at these uh, registrations in detail a new or renamed as the Refine Atlas Fit button. So this button would open the same window as this um, checkbox would, right? So you can stay in here um, and uh, work from there. You could also, if you have maybe 20 patients loaded, um, click on Refine Atlas Fit on all of these and um, the figure would then open for all of these. So this figure is not only for refining, but also for checking the fit to the atlas, right? So here we can see the T2 and we can see the STN of the distal atlas. That's under the preset of the STN here. And um, there's also a GPI preset button. If I would click that, it would instead show us the T1 or if we have it a proton density or an FG tier image. So you can see that's not the best quality here, but this is an STN patient anyways. So we're going to focus on the STN today and it will again load the TU2 with the distal atlas here. We can also change the modality to show us here. So we could say instead show us the T1, which wouldn't, wouldn't make too much sense, but the T2 space of course makes sense. Um, so we can have a look at the fit between the normalized T2 space and the atlas um, in this view too, right? If we want to, we could also choose any other structure. And here are a lot of like inofficial atlases in here, but um, that are in development or just custom built things. But for example, just to show you the standard distal minimal atlas also comes of course with the red nucleus. So we could also have a look at that, right? And, and look at whether the red nucleus atlas and the patient's normalized file has a good fit. It doesn't look too bad, but also not perfect, right? So for example, here we could say, mm, we would want to refine that. And that's exactly what's possible now. So I'll go back to the STN and um, by default, it choose the T2. I will start with the T2 space though. And we can basically now refine this fit to the Atlas and really work on the like um, sub millimeter resolution. So for example, I would think that here um, the STN is slightly off. So what I do is I click on um, the image and I get a crosshair and then I click again and then I can draw a yellow line to refine this fit. And I right click to end drawing and then you see small arrows that, that show you how LeetDBS would try uh, to nudge this line toward the Atlas line. You say add correction if you're happy. 
and then you can start drawing again, right? So maybe here, we also want to refine this a little bit. Right click, add correction. And here potentially, we even have a larger shift like this. And then we can maybe draw around here as well. And then right click and you see that it would nudge everything toward the atlas. Add correction. And done. You can scroll through here and at times really refine this a little bit. And you can see that this volume, so I'm not happy with this one now, I discard it and just draw again. Um, this volume is not the best quality, right? So Elite DBS ha had a bit of problems to, to find the perfect fit. The more, uh, the better the quality in your images and also the more volumes you can give Lead DBS, uh, including several acquisitions, and not just a T1, for example, um, the better the fit will be automatically, but um, this new tool will give you the option to also refine um, refine fits. And we can switch between volumes, of course. So I can now look at the same in, in the conventional T2 and again, maybe say, okay, this is a little bit off here. It should go like this and um, add the correction. And we, we have drawn a similar line here already in the other in the T2 space. That correction and maybe want to switch back. The sagittal view here um, has one more option that um, in that it currently only shows you the left hemisphere, but you could also click on right hemisphere and then the scroll bar will only cover um, cover the STN of that hemisphere, right? So make sure to also look at the other ones. Here it's really hard to see that the dis the, like the distinguishing to the Substantia Nigra, so I prefer not to draw here, um, but maybe prefer to do so, if at all, in uh, the coronal view. One thought is that I would also only draw lines here if I'm really sure to make things better, because um, as you can see, it's sometimes not really easy to see uh, the fit. And um, the other thing is, though, that might seem a bit contradicting, that the more you draw, the better, because um, you might, you know, if you draw a lot of things, then your errors get averaged out again, right? So your manual interaction also bears some risk. But let's say we're happy now, this is fine. Um, we close the figure, and only then the changes will be saved Okay, so inside your patient folder, you can see that there's a new folder called Fiducials now. And in that you will see a nifty image, um, which basically has the hand drawings uh, that we just made. And in the MNI space folder, which is basically inside lead TBS, then templates space MNI, um, you will also see a Fiducials folder and that will have one matching pair uh, with the same name. So what we can do now is to recompute advanced, the advanced normalization tools based normalization. And that will now take these fiducial files into account as a additional temp, uh, as an additional spectrum, basically. And we can maybe double check the settings. So we have the standard effective low variance profile. We use a SYN um, transform. Um, we use mutual information. Volumes are not skull stripped. Um, and we do a subcortical refine step. We may not need that here for demonstration now, but usually I think that's a good idea. And what we can also say now is to start from the prior deformation. Um, so you can have lead TBS ask you each time or to override. Um, override would mean it would just start from scratch always, right? But here we want to start from, um, from the uh, transform that we already made. 
right? These two files, the glanet.h5 files, these are the ones that store the deformation from the patient to the template. So we want to use that and we say now recompute normalization. And it will now, as you can see, take the T2, the T, T2 space, the T2, the T1, and this fiducial file, right? So these will be the four spectra that warp into MNI space. And clicking on this recompute normalization button is nothing else than rerunning the normalized volumes um, module from here and clicking run. If you've approved the, the normalization already, then remember you need to check the retouch override approved results button. If not, nothing happens, right? So this would help you if you have like 50 patients in your batch um, to approve some of them and disapprove some others. And um, then if you don't check the retouch override um, checkbox, then only the disapproved ones will be renormalized, right? But as soon as we add additions to, to the normalization, as we have just done, it gets automatically disapproved, right? So now imagine you have 20 patients and 15 of them are perfect, but in five of them, and you approve all of them, but in five of them, um, you make small additions with the tool I just showed you, then these will automatically be disapproved again so you could run all patients, all patients selected here, without having the retouch and override approved results uh, checkbox on, normalize again, and it would only um, renormalize the ones that we've edited. So this is an option if you have a multitude of patients to, to work with them. Okay, so now we're back. Um, the normalization has run through again, and we can just click on refine atlas fit again and then we will see the result so again by default it would point us to the t2 and already we can see a pretty nice fit here um, with the stn it's a bit harder to see in um, coronal view but if we go maybe to the t2 space remember this is the stn that we really worked on a lot and you can see a much better fit you know and i would say in congruence with the other t2 that we have and despite the imaging quality is not that great this is now a pretty nice rate registration okay so now we're done with that we can just say okay approve and close and then this normalization is basically uh, sealed I want to show you quickly one other tool that we have um, built that is in the tools menu and in normalization add fiducial helpers and this will generate a more coarse um, more like very raw uh, fiducial helper so if you have like big normalization problems with maybe um, a really weird uh, brain or a post-mortem brain or whatever, then um, you can first click on a point in MNI space. Um, let's say we want to make sure this point um, will have a good fit and then you say OK. And it will present you what you just clicked on the right hemisphere now or on the right side now. And then you find the same, uh, the same point in the patient's brain, right? Um, and then press click and you can repeat this as often as you want and you could also do it with multiple patients selected so um, let's say you always want to make sure the AC is perfectly re uh, registered you click once on the MNI brain and then you will be presented with um, all your selected patient if you had more patients selected and let's see we want to also um, uh, select the AC here say OK and once you're done, once you have um, enough fiducials selected, you just press stop and these will now um, be again put into the fiducials folder in your patient and in the MNI brain. And again, this only has an effect if you rerun normalization, right? So you could basically do, the, do this, this step before normalization or every time thereafter and then um, if you if you select the like uh, start from the prior deformation, then you could by that refine normalizations 
pretty nicely. Okay, that's all for the new tool. Thanks for tuning in and um, have a great day.